Right now, the men charged in the murder of Ahmad Arbery are facing a judge in Gulen County. Arbery was shot while jogging in Brunswick in February. Gregory McMichael, his son Travis McMichael, and the man who recorded the shooting on video, William Bryan, are all charged with murder. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live in Glen County at the hearing. Haley, you have stepped outside to bring us an update. A lot of new details released today. Megan, good afternoon. I am live outside the Glen County Courthouse where people have been standing here through storms, rain, and now sunshine, listening in on this hearing. They're right now very upset with an investigator this here from Cobb County, and they have been yelling, asking for explanations. I've been inside a special viewing room where we are learning explosive new details about a racial slur, a police gun, and the disturbing chase that led to Ahmaud Arbery's death. We're going to take you to video of the hearing that is going on live right now. We stepped outside, but this is video of Travis McMichael on the left and his father Gregory McMichael on the right wearing that black suit. They're appearing on video conference from inside the Glen County Jail right now. Both are charged with felony murder and aggravated assault. Greg McMichael is considered a party to the crime of killing Ahmaud Arbery. The third suspect, William Bryan, chose not to appear. Right now, GBI Special Agent Richard Dial is on the stand revealing new details that Greg McMichael was actually using a Glen County Police Department issued gun. That the revolver still had the Glen County Police Department stamp on it. We also learned that William Bryan actually claimed he was a witness, but really went to great lengths to try to chase Aubrey down and block him in with his truck, cutting off the road and even hitting Ahmad Aubrey with his truck so hard that it made a dent. But the most explosive detail today after the shooting, Brian says that Travis McMichael called Ahmad Aubrey the N-word as Aubrey lay in the street dying. His statement to the effect is he didn't know Mr. Aubrey had stolen anything or not, but he had a gut feeling that Mr. Aubrey may have been responsible for thefts that were in the neighborhood previously. Um, and he actually, I think he actually says gut, his um, instinct told him that. Mr. Bryan said that after the shooting took place, before police arrival, while Mr. Aubrey was on the ground, that he heard Travis Michael make the statement, And that was him calling him the effing N-word. Uh, right now, the defense attorney for Travis McMichael is questioning the GBI agent. And when I just walked out, he asked, did you have any other indications or proof that Mr. Travis McMichael had used the N-word before? The investigator said yes several times. He goes on to detail that at one point on Instagram, Travis McMichael said things would have only been better if the man had blown the effing N-word's head off in response to one comment, he also said he loves his job on a boat because there are no, quote, in words anywhere. Explosive new details. The first time we're hearing about blatant comments about race and indications of a possible hate crime. We'll bring you more details starting at 4 o'clock today on CBS 46 News. Reporting live in Brunswick, Haley Mason, CBS 46. Wow, Haley, thank you for that update and be sure to stay with CBS 46 today. We will have complete coverage of today's hearing on CBS 46 News at 4. Haley is tracking it every step of the way.